So, so this is um, la uh, the video might not pick this up too well. But it's a laser keyboard there. You've got a Pico. Is it a Pico projector? It's a Pico projector. This is right. a full computer. This is right. the uh, first prototype. This is the production model that right. we're going out with. This will give you the virtual mouse, virtual keyboard coming out of here. Yeah. Uh, we then have an iPod docking station, so you can dock your iPod. You can directly sync to your iTunes, since yeah. this is a computer. You can start playing your videos or your pictures off your iPhone. You can angle it at any angle, and it oh, gives so you a projection, 88-inch yeah. screen. Right. Uh, you have a touch screen here. You have webcam. You have Bluetooth. You have uh, Wi-Fi. You also have SD cards. You have HDMI out if you want to attach it to an external yeah. screen. You have USBs, you have Ethernet, you also on the other side have AVI in, you have HDMI in, so you can take your Blu-ray, take your Xbox, your PS3, right. put it directly into here, and you've got an 88 inch screen. Yeah. So now for people who only have one screen, now you have two screens in your house. Put the kids on this instead. That's great. Take it with you, portable, you've got your whole computer in one. Yeah, it's a whole PC, yeah. So uh, you could run Windows Media Center or whatever Windows programs you, you want, and you've got your full system there. Yeah, absolutely. This is it. That's really neat, that. I really like that idea. So, the, so this is the prototype. So you've got your normal screen there, right. and that's projected up, up there. Yeah, up here. Right now it's in keyboard mode. So I'm typing with the keyboard. If I want to go back, I press, function, I press the function mouse. And now I'm in mouse mode, and now oh, it functions nice. as a mouse. So I've got my mouse and keyboard function that way. So I could, I could have all my DVDs stored on here, or on all my videos and recorded TV shows and everything. Take Absolutely. it with me. Travel it with you. Sit in my hotel room. If you don't want the projection, you can press this button, and it turns off the projection. Now you can just be using it with the touch screen. Yeah. And if you want only the projection, you can have only the projection. Then you can both, you have both. That's really good. That's a really good idea. So what kind of what um, spec PCs have we got? Is it Atom? It's Intel Atom right now. Yeah. Um, it's got the 1.5 670. Yeah. Um, it's got two gig RAM, and we are actually making it into a uh, higher-end gaming unit, mm -hmm. which is obviously going to be a higher price point than this one. Yeah. But we're working with the i7 and the uh, ATI on Oh, hey, you made it. Good. Uh, so what? So what kind of prices are these? This is going to be six hundred dollar retail. So that's my bad price. Any plans to do uh, European distribution? Uh, we haven't set that yet. Right now we're going through a major, so we're selling to them and they're yeah. going to be uh, redistributed. Uh, excellent. Well, I think that is a brilliant idea. I really like that. So uh, thanks for your time. Thank you. Yeah. So now you have it in one, so you can do your typing when you're on off. It charges your iPhone as well. So right. you put it in the case and then you can just type away with your iPhone when you have to do notes. Steamy app here, you can do 60 yeah. words in a minute. Uh, you're doing pretty well first time. That's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> I really like that. Because it's very accurate. Um, one of the things is, as a blogger, you know, you, you might have, um, you want to write a bit quick, a few blog posts, and sometimes the keyboard on the phone's a bit small, so you can look it over. So we are working this year, we're going to see it better than in the phones. We also manufacture phones, so we're going to be putting it in the smartphones. So you will see it better directly in the phone.